everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing my june plan with me these are the markers that i'm going to be using for this month i was very very inspired by coffee even though i don't drink it that much um i definitely thought these colors were very warm very appealing and even though we are entering into the summer month I wanted to have that essence with me just because I, I don't know, I really love um, the brown that's been trending recently, so I thought these were great. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm making these swirly lines. Um, eventually, when the end product um, comes to reveal itself, you'll see that it kind of looks like bacon. But I'm okay with that. I love how it turned out. It actually looks really good. Um, and I'm really happy with it. letters for the word June. I started off with a very dark brown color here with the U. I didn't want it to be the letter J just because I wanted, you know, different colors because it kind of appeals more when it's you start off with a different color. Um, and then I went in with different color Tombow marker pens to fill in the rest. I realized that even though I'm using a different shade, it matched so much with the end that I just filled in with a different color. It's actually the same color as the J. Here I'm outlining the word June. I wanted to give this some depth, so I decided to outline the letters just so that I can pop out a little bit more. going to be doing my monthly overview on this side just because I think it's super helpful whenever I'm planning for the month. I designate a whole page to it just because I have a lot of schoolwork, I have a lot of assignments coming up, and it helps really keep me organized throughout my life and especially in school. On the other side is going to be my highlight of the day. I did this last month um, whenever we were in quarantine and kind of just being stuck at home, I wanted to, you know, pay tribute to each day and kind of be grateful for what's good. So using those same Tombow brush pen that I use for my cover, I'm going in and doing the same thing that I'm doing um, that I did for the cover. Before going in, I pre-drew the lines so that I know where I kind of want my colors to be. Um, that way it's planned and it's easy to, you know, just fill in the colors whenever I start filling them in.
taking my Daiso Fine Tip Marker and writing out my title. I decided to do a nice hand lettering um, for the title because I've been slacking on lettering anything recently. Um, so I just decided that this is going to be where I pick it back up. each day of the month for the highlight of the day that way I can fill it in with a sentence or something that happened that day and those are my two trackers over to the next page I am going to be doing my monthly spread again I'm going in with my Tombow's filling in all the lines that I've already pre-drawn and coloring them in as I see. I decided to just stick with one color because I realized that there's so many colors around the spread already so I just decided let's just go with one. Taking my Pilot Do 2 pen I am going to outline the month. I really like using my ruler from Muji. It gives me such great lines and it's a very lightweight to where I can just move it, adjust it, and you know, it doesn't move on me whenever I am, you know, writing on it. Also, I don't know if it's just me or if there's anyone else out there, but I just really like the feeling of having um, my pen glide against the ruler and when I lift it up, having straight lines is just the cherry on top. Here I'm outlining the word June just so that I can give it a pop of color.
to fill in for the date, I'm going to take the lightest color I have and just, you know, draw on the very top. Who cares if it's not perfect? Now I'm filling in my numbers for the month and I personally am so excited that this month starts off on a Monday. I think that because I start my weekly spreads on a Monday, this just makes it so much more satisfying. And I don't know about you guys, but I tend to write really small, so when I'm watching this or looking at this, my handwriting is tiny. And here I am filling in the week, <laughs> my Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So yeah, I don't know how exciting that is, but that's me just writing. <laughs> Moving on to my weekly spread. Again, the center, I'm going to be keeping the same as I've done for the last uh, however many spreads I've already done. And you're gonna see like these little gaps. I have those little gaps because I drew whisk in the middle and I thought that was so cool and I thought that was so creative of me. I was so proud of it. So over here, I drew like different coffee cups, but they're all actually whipped coffee. I know that people are super hyped about it or were super hyped about it. And I decided why not just do a whole spread over it. So here are my doodles of whipped coffee. That's why I have the whisk in the middle of the spread. Here I'm filling in the details of the coffee whip. So on the very top is like super brown and you know, obviously it sits on top of milk. So I kept the center empty and in a little bit, you're gonna see how I kind of emphasize the cup. So as you can see, I have my whip and now I'm going in with my Pilot G2 and kind of outlining the cup that it's sitting in. That way it kind of gives it the effect of the whipped coffee on top and then the milk that's at the bottom. I also decided to draw a mug to see what it would look like. I thought that turned out so cute too. Um, and it just looks like a frappuccino. You guys are also welcome to change the colors or change the cups as much as you want. Um, I just decided to draw as many cups as I could just because I wanted to see how they would look. I also attempted to doodle a mason jar. So this is my, you know, for that <laughs> at the very top I'm filling in all the days of the week and month so that I can see what week we are on I realize that I've missed out on this so much because I keep looking back at my monthly and this really helps me keep myself on just one spread and not turn back now I'm filling in the details for the whisk that I drew in the center And that is my weekly spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys recreate it, please tag me and like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.